Hi there, this is Movie Buff 35 and I have 23 steelbooks to show today. First up is Return of the Living Dead, the classic 1985 zombie movie. On the back, again with the back, I'm not too keen on the printed information, but this is the second site release. It's one of my favourite steelbooks. Second up is the HMV, uh, sorry, Play.com exclusive, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Again, everything is printed on the steelbook rather than left empty with just artwork. The inside is plain, as you can see, which I will put some artwork in myself at some point. Next up is Robin Hood with Russell Crowe. This wasn't a, a limited release by any company. Every HMV, Play, Amazon, they all had this release. So Next up is The Rock. I've done this in the last video so you've seen what it's like next is another release Rumblefish again I haven't taken the backing off but nothing fantastic inside you get the booklet again with Plenty of information and photos. The artwork inside. Again, this Rumblefish by Francis Ford Coppola. Classic film. I recommend you see it if you do. Or buy it. Next up is, I think HMV exclusive. I think uh, Safe House, with Denzel Washington and Ryan Reynolds. Again, good artwork in here. I can't be asked to take the other two out; it's too much hassle. But this, uh, you've probably owned this anyway. Next up is the HMV exclusive Salt. Did like this film, very good. Well, Angelina Jolie. Hopefully, they make she'll make another one. Play.com exclusive, Saving Private Ryan. Not a bad cover. Um, it's not embossed or debossed or anything. Made out to look like cartridge shell case. The artwork inside. Again, only the one disc edition, not the two disc which was previously released on Blu-ray. Scarface. Everybody owns this, I think. And not bad looking steelbook. This came with the cigar box. So, three disc edition. I'll show the side with Michelle Pfeiffer. So... Again, another classic movie. If you haven't seen it, I urge you to buy it. Next up, we have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which is signed by Brandon Routh, who was boyfriend number three. As you can see, he's wrote his character name, Todd Ingram. To my all best wishes. I haven't got the second uh, generation steelbook from Play, but I think I prefer this one to be honest. Now that it's signed by Brandon Routh. Oop, Serenity, Play.com exclusive, debossed title. Back, awesome film. 
like this very much. I met Nathan Fillion a couple of years ago. And I didn't meet her. I can't remember her name, but I, but I didn't bother with getting a signature from her because she wasn't well known then. The German release of Seven. Again, same as one of the other ones I've got. What was it? Um, My Bloody Valentine. It says limited edition, but there's nothing on it at all. But. I found this cheap from in the paper, so the four disc edition of Shawshank Redemption. This isn't limited to any store, it's available everywhere. It's not bad, it's very kind of got a gloss to it. Fantastic film anyway. You get four art cards with it. Again, in the inside there's no artwork, which I'll change. There's one postcard. The second one. The third one. And the fourth one. Again. Next up is the Play uh, HMV exclusive Sherlock Holmes: A Game of Shadows. See, this isn't on there. It's still, the, I haven't taken that off, so it's not printed on. Um, just waiting up for the the first one to come out in November. On Steelbook. Next up is a, a great cult classic Japanese movie, Shogun Assassin. The original video cover. I think this was from Eureka. Yeah, Eureka. Very good violent movie, if you like that thing. Silent Running, cult classic sci fi movie. A bit plain on the back, another Eureka release. I think this one was number 23, yeah. Masters of Cinema Collection. Next up is the Play.com exclusive, The Shooter, or Shooter, Mark Wahlberg. Again, kept kept the cardboard slipcase on, on it. Great movie, great steelbook. Excellent artwork on the inside. Next up is Shutter Island. I don't know why they called it a collector's edition because it's got nothing on there at all other than a couple of documentaries. So not worthy of the name collector's edition. Next up is Snow White and the Huntsman. Back cover. This came with was an limited edition box set with art cards and a book and stuff. Um, if you want me to review that on its own just send me a message, write it in the box below and uh, I'll do a separate review of that box set if you wish. Play.com exclusive source code not, this is printed on unfortunately not one of the greatest steel books but not bad film Time travel. I quite like time travel movies. So, next up is Star Trek. The remake, the the two thousand and nine re remake. So, this actually came with um, a replica Starship Enterprise bust. So uh, again, if you wish me to review that, which was a limited edition box set from the States, I will do a separate review, so let me know if you message me in. This is, I 
future shop, I think, release of Sucker Punch, uh, which I had import from the States. Again, I haven't taken the cardboard sleeve off, but I do like this movie. And last but not least is the HMV exclusive Super 8. Another great film, more of a homage to Steven Spielberg than from J.J. Abrams. The back cover on the inside. I'll just put the sticker on there, but some the artwork and as in a film reel. Very nice, it's debossed, the Super 8 logo, so I do like this film, it has the 80s family Spielberg feel to it, which I like, um, which kind of reminds me of Goonies and E.T. and those kind of films, so if you haven't seen this one, see it, and the, the Steelbook is very nice, so anyway, that's it, I'll have some more Steelbooks in the next one, so Carry on subscribing and thanks for watching. Cheers guys.